Hey, it's James from Free Electrical. On today's video, we're doing some kitchen electrics in Harrogate. So we're going to be wired up for all the appliances, the lighting, and the sockets. Right then, let's get into this. Right then, so this is the kitchen we're working in. So at the moment, it's all just ripped out. So the the guys fitting the kitchen just ripped it all out yesterday, all ready for us. We'll put this nice protective flooring down. So this is what we've got to work with. Right then, so I've brought the plants. This is what it's going to look like in the end. So that's like the little artist impression, top down. So as you can see, you've got a, a few appliances around here. A little plinth eater, and as we get a few appliances on this side. That's a little side profile here. And then that's this profile here. So top down on the kitchen, we've got a few cabinets around here. So we've got a socket there, socket there, little dishwasher. Integrated washer, washer dryer, and then this side, freezer, double oven and microwave stack like you saw in the picture, little socket there, little socket in the corner, and then we've got the induction hob there and the extractor above. The first thing we're going to do is mark out where all the units are going to go and where the appliances are going to go using the plant. So we'll mark it out on the walls just so we can see what's going in visually and then we know where we need to run the cables to. So we're going to mark out the units, we're going to mark out where the appliances are going to go, but we're also going to mark out where the sockets are going to go using the laser level. So what we've done is over here, we've got a little, little 1200 top mark, we're going to set up as laser level, it'll ping a, a line around the room and then we know exactly where the sockets are going to sit and they're going to be perfectly level. Right, that's everything marked out now. So if you look over here, we've got his appliances uh, marked out and we've got the actual units all marked out. So if you look here, obviously that's 600, next one's 600, next one's 450 and so on. And then we've got a little, the appliance with a square around it, just so I know what it is. So you don't want to get confused with the old markings out from the previous uh, kitchen, who actually ended up installing in the wrong places, but so obviously you've got your washer here, dishwasher here and so on. So those are marked out, so we know where everything is and we know where the cables are going to end up going. Well, that's what we've done. So we've marked out for the sockets. Obviously the door opens this way, so we've marked out for the light switch as well. So we've got a light switch there for the room. One's going to do the down lights, one's going to do the, the under cabs, but we'll get to that in a bit. And then we've got the sockets then. So there's a socket going in here. In this one, there's a little plinth theater going in. So what we're going to do is just have an option for a switch. So there'll be a few spare here about to flick, which will kick on your plinth theater rather than booting it. Right, so we've got socket here. So that's those marked out. We've got a socket over here marked out. And we've got a socket there marked out. So now I'm just going to move on to marking out the down lights. So I think there's six down lights to be marked out. And then we've got the under cabs as well, just to decide where the cable's going to pop out above the cabinet. All right, that's the lights marked out. So we've got six positions along the ceiling. So if we look there, we've used the laser level to stick it and bang on. We we'll laser this side as well, so we've got six. Well, this is three of the six. So I'll show you what we've done over here. Right then, so here's this little schematic. So here's this window over here, and then we've got all the measurements between. So we've just basically got this number divided by three and just seeing if it works. So sometimes you do that and these end up looking really close together. So you might end up going like 800 off or 900 off. But you don't want to go more than a metre apart, like you start getting dark spots with down lights. So that's all marked out on the ceiling. And we'll take a picture of that, and then when we come back, we'll use that to actually uh, drill the holes into the ceiling. So I think it's getting overboarded, but I'll check. So it turns out that the ceiling's not getting overboarded. So what we'll have to do is just get those lights installed, and then any kind of access holes we'll just have to leave, and the plaster will just patch them up. So when we're doing this install, when you've got to run any cables, you need to make sure you've got three things. So we need to make sure it's got something called RCD protection on the fuse bar, something called gas bonding, so that's on the gas meter. And you need to make sure you've got something called water bonding, so that's on the water meter. So what I do is just ask the customer for three pictures. So ask for a picture of the fuse board, gas meter and water stop tap. And from those the three pictures, we just decide if it's got it or not, and if we need to quote for it or not. And then when we get here, we just check that that's the case. All right then, so Hayden's just chopping out these sockets now. So we've got the sockets to chop out, we've got the new switch position chopped out. We've just gone through with the customer and they're sure happy with the positions. And then we've got the lights to cut out and actually get wired.
Uh, it's time for a bit of Monshire. So we've got a leap, you can see that. What have you got, Aiden? Sausage. Look at that, leap meat. What a beast. So I've got a nice little warm pot pie and bacon and sausage. Let's see that. Let's have a look at this little beast. Oh, yeah, look at that. Proper bacon. Mmm. Gorgeous. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, let's get back to it. Right, so we've got all those boxes in for his sockets and switches. All right then, so we've got these boxes in now. So we've got the laser out. So that just bangs through the middle of these eyelets. So you have to go to the eyelets because the, if you go to the box, the box can warp and your socket might not be straight afterwards. If you go to the eyelets, it'll be perfect every time. So that bangs through the middle of that. Through the middle of the new switch. So I haven't checked this one actually. This is one Hayden's done. Perfect, well done, lad. And then we've got that one there, that one there, and then this switch over here. So they're perfectly level because that laser level. Alright, so we've gone from the sockets down, we've done a little chase down so the cables can go in the wall. Same again here. Obviously, we've chased along and down for this switch to extend those cables. We've got a few access holes along the ceiling. So they'll get patched up so they'll look nice and sweet once it's all been plastered. And then same again, chase down, chase down, and then chase up for your cable for your extractor fan. So we're just gonna have a little tidy now. It's a little bit dusty in here, so we'll give it a sweep, get it all in skip, and then we'll be uh, ready to start wiring this thing up. A little bit better. So we'll give it a good sweep at the end. So we'll explain how we're gonna wire this now. So we've got a double oven and microwave going in here. So what we're gonna do is extend the ring you can see down there there's two ends of ring coming in here so it wires from the fuse board to every point and then back so what we're going to do is get a cable from here up here to pick up a socket up here which will do the microwave and the extractor and then back out along down pick up this one and then a little link over to here which will do the plinth plinth here down at the bottom and then back out of here along around and then just to pick up this and then from here it goes down back and then attach it onto the, the other cable coming up and then we've got six mil to bring up to the top of here so you've got your double oven here so what we'll do is leave a uh, cable long enough to kind of come out to about a meter out of your cupboard so you can work on it and then pull it back afterwards so cable will come out of here down the wall and then we'll just connect it onto here and then all we'll do is just coil it up that big length and uh, cap the end off so it's nice and solid, ready to get pulled in afterwards, the kitchen's fitted. So the, there's a 20 amp supply there, so what, that's going to do the induction hub. So we're going to extend that around and we'll basically leave a leg hanging out to about here. And what we'll do is basically bring that into the back of the cupboard, bring the cable from the hob through and into the back of that cupboard and there'll be a little 20 amp switch then in the back, which will do the hob. So that'll be that side done as far as the power. So now we'll just move on to the other side. So we've just got the dishwasher and washing machine. So what I'll do, you can see the cables coming down here. So again, we'll find the two coming in, we'll chop it, connect the cable on one, run it around and stick it out here. So we'll have a socket here, which will do the dishwasher and washing machine. And then it'll come back around, pick up this socket, pick up this socket, and then attach back onto the other cable coming out the floor. So you've extended your ring. So we've also got to move all this uh, hive controls into the back of the cupboard as well. So it's, the feed is picked off up here. So as you can see, it's, uh, it comes off this socket circuit. So once we ditch all the old sockets out, we'll have to refeed this. So what we'll have to do, the cable's going out to probably thermostat and different controls on the heating system and the boiler. We'll have to extend those up into the ceiling and then come down this zone here. And then what we'll do, we'll bring those cables into the back and just leave it coiled up. Again, we'll leave each cable long enough to come out to here so we can work on it and then pull it up, well, back, in, back into the cupboard. So it'll kind of tuck in the back of that cupboard down there. As you can see, whoever installed this last, probably didn't know what they were doing. She got a singles line cable there, that's a bit dodgy. So that's not protected. Yeah, it's just a bit of a mess, really. So we'll tidy all that up and make sure it's just doing what it should be doing. So that's all the socket sorted and the power. So now we'll just move on to the light. So for the lighting, there's gonna be some under cabinet lights going under there, like an LED strip. And there'll be an LED strip going under this side as well, so along here, like a little L there. And these are like tall cupboards from floor to ceiling. So what we're going to do, we're going to wire, we're going to bring a permanent feed into the switch, and then we're going to send the cable out up 
into the ceiling, along these little access holes, and down for there. And again, we'll bring out a meter so we can kind of work with it. And then what'll happen is there'll be like a little driver which we'll wire into, and uh, that'll basically power up the LED strip here. And then we'll take a cable out of here, along, down, and then stick out here for, to sit again, there'll be a driver for there, and that'll power up the, the LED strip for this side. And then we're just gonna get a cable from here, up to your light, so, like you saw before, there'll be one, two, three, four, five and six so basically we're just going to link between and then a cable from the last one back down to your switch all right then so just going to crack on we wind this up then all right that's wired up now so we've got a big bundle cable down here which is going to go up and then out to a socket socket and then we realize there's the fridge to pop as well so there'll be an extra socket above there. So there was a cable hanging out here for a socket. We've uh, chopped that and then extended that cable up to here, which caps it off. Then we've run from here, around to this bundle, up to here, then from this bundle down uh, to the kind of next leg, which will go up into the second socket. From there, down, around, up into here, from here, it's the leg going back. So if you look there, that's the white cable of the other socket. So that just comes back and then that extends the ring. That completes the ring, which we've kind of extended. And then we've got this little link in here to his plin switch. And then from here, when you turn that switch on, this cable here will liven up. And then this cable here will connect to your plin heater and turn it on. So we've also extended. So we've got some six mil. So we'll look to the six mil there, which will be long enough again to go up the back of the units and to your 45 amp switch. And then once the units are fit, we'll go from the switch to the oven. And then we've extended the 20 amp feed going around up to here. And again, that'll just go into the back of this cupboard into like an isolator. And then we'll extract the fan cable that's just sticking out there. So again, that goes down, around, and coiled up in here, and that's long enough to go up and plug in up here. So that's this side complete. So now we're just going to do this side of the room. So, like we said, if we've explained how to do that already, so we're just going to get cables in between. So as long as we've kind of disconnect the ring, go to every point and then connect back into the ring. That's how you kind of extend the ring. So as long as you don't miss out a point, you're good to go. So I'll start doing that. Hayden's gonna do the lighting. So again, we explained how to do that. So he's just gonna crack on, wind up these lights. Now let's just wind up these lights then. So Hayden's done a few already. He's done uh, that one over there and that one over there. So we'll show you how we kind of wire these up. So they're nice and easy. Right, so we've got the two cables coming in. You can see that, there's his, there's a down light hole, that's his access hole that'll get filled. We'll show you how we wire these in. So, nice and easy then. So it's just two fingers. You just kind of chop each side and then that just pulls. And then you just pull again and then you get your strip cable. So it's just that little. Same again to this side, so it's just two fingers. You just do like a half chop. It just scrolls the cable and allows you to pull it. And then if you look here, we've got neutral. Uh, earth and mine. So, what I do is just sleeve it up first, chop that, and then leave a good centimetre hanging out. Chop that, and what I do is just get the earth on, bend it a little, earth on, bend it a little, and it's just time to wire them up. So, I would bend them to the side if I'm doing two into one. Get your earth and you just kind of push it. If you look there, it's like a little, little push terminal. So that just pushes in nicely like that. There we go. And then you just bend your line in. And you just your neutral in. And nice and easy, this push fit. And the same again. So bend your, bend your corners to the side. Earth in, bend in, your line in. Don't have to do it in there, I'll show you how to do it. Neutral the lid, and then you just kind of push and do in. And you just want to line them up like that. It's like a little cover here. So I'll pop that on next. And then the customer's not sure if they want warm white or cool white. So on these, there's like a little dip switch. So you can have it on WW for warm white. You can have it in the middle for cool white or this DL for daylight. They have these as cool white, which is this middle position. And then the customer can see both and then decide on which one they want. So I'm just gonna pop them up now. Again, you just wanna hold your hold your clips to one side. Get your cables out of it. 
and then just make sure that these are flapping. Because it could be a piece of wood, yeah, you don't want to be flapping into the wood. So make sure that's clear, but we've already made sure before. Right, there we go, so there's a double skim on these. It's a bit hard to get your wings up. But once it's up, just want to polish them off a bit. And then finally, these are like a little magnetic bezel. So that just clips up like that. But we're going to leave that off so they can do the painting, get a bit of paint on this, just wipe it off, and then clip the nice shiny bezel on there. Look at that. So that's how we uh, kind of wind up our lights. So, what we've done, what Aiden has done, is basically wired between every light. So, yeah, you basically go from light to light to light to light using these, these accessors to get the cables through. And then what we're going to do is go from your last light, which is this one with a single one on, so you go from here down to your switch. And then what we're going to do is pick up a neutral from here. So this was the light. So you've got switch light and neutral there. So we're going to nick the neutral out of that and extend it down to your switch. And then we're going to nick the permanent live, which was basically, you've got permanent live and switch live there. We're just going to nick the permanent live, do a little action up there and bring that down uh, into the switch. Because basically these two cables will go back to a joint box, but we can't get to it because this is uh, a bathroom above, so we can't find that joint box. It's, it's over that way as well, over the living room. We can't make some holes, so that's what we're doing next. So we'll, we'll get them both down to the switch. We've got a permanent feed there, and then we can send the cable out to here, and then send the cable from here to your undercabs. So here basically, and the cable for your undercabs over here. Nice and easy. So whilst Aiden's doing that, I'm going to wire up this side of the room. So we've explained that already. So we're basically going to pick up every point, uh, chop into the ring, extend to every point and back. So nice and easy. So let's get into this. Right then, so we've got his leg hanging out here. There we go, that's all connected up. So that get pulled in at the back and do the dishwasher and washing machine. Uh, we've got to take a leg out of here to do the hive controller. So that'll just power up a few spare, which will power up the hive. And we're going to move all these cables down into the back of the cupboard. We've got a socket wired up there and a socket wired up there. So that's this section wired basically. Aiden's got Aiden's doing his last light now, and he's just got his cables down to his switch. So they'll just go into the switch. We've explained how we're doing that anyway. Obviously the cable will be hanging out for under cab. And uh, we're basically done down here after that, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Right then, having a right little mare. We'll show you what we're doing here. Here we go, so we've got to extend every single cable down to here. So we have to uh, basically just take it apart. It worked before, so we're going to put it back together as it is uh, back down here. So here's cable one, red and black, and the same way it's all going. So this is what we've had to do. So I'm just halfway through it now. So basically this will sit in the back of the cupboard and there'll be the hive unit sat on here. And then this little tail, where's it gone? This little tail here, we'll go into a, a little few spur next to it in the back of the cupboard. Uh, and then it'll get its power from uh, this here but when it's put in a junction box. So that's by your ring. So this is what we're doing. So obviously the customer wants heating whilst we're away for two weeks while the kitchen's getting fit. But, uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare trying to, trying to wire it up. If I'll just leave it kind of coiled up on the floor. Um, probably put it in a bag just so it don't get mucky. Right then, so that's the hive all done behind me. So that's just tucked nice and neatly in there. So yeah, we've uh, got a little bit of tidying up to do. And then we'll be done with the kitchen. So uh, a bit of hoovering now and then we'll be done. We'll talk you through what we've done. Right then, that's all we've done down here. So the floor a bit tidy. So you can't get all the dust up. Dust stays in, week, in the air for about two weeks, so yeah, it's, uh, it gets a bit dusty in here. But you just keep landing and landing when you sweep it. Oh, I'm not right then, so we'll start you through what we've done then. So lighting, we've got his undercab in. So that wires back to your switch. We've got another undercab there. What else we got? We've got switch for that, that works. So at least like the other trades can see. We've got six spotlights in, so they wind up currently. And also we've got the two way in, so that'll, that'll be a, like a brush chrome a black insert switch over there. And then we've got, obviously sockets around. We've got the uh, hive system ready to bring in the back of that cupboard. We've got a little leg out here for the sockets to power up the dishwasher and washing machine. And also we've got 
socket over here, socket over there, uh, plinth switch, so when you ping that on, that cable will come live and that'll power up your plinth heater. So what we normally do is put these little blue floor connectors on, bang that on one end and then the fitter will just fit his uh, plinth heater and plug that in, so nice and easy. All these are ready up, so got ready to go up, so there's two piled up here, so two legs will come up here and do two sockets, which will be the microwave extractor and the fridge. And also got, we've also got a 6mm piled up there, which will come up for the 45 amp isolator, which will do the double oven. So that's that, what else we've got? And then we've got the hob here, so that's that 20 amp supply, so that'll go in the back of that cupboard and uh, feed the hob there. And then that's your extractor cable hanging out, so nice and easy. So yeah, that's how we install all the first fix for a kitchen. So we've got the power sorted, we had to miss about the boiler, we've got all the lighting sorted. So if you've got any questions, just kind of put it below. So if you want to know about the pricing for something like this, I'm going to do a pricing video coming up shortly. So again, just put it down if you want to, below if you want to see that. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when the next upload. As always, I'll do it from me. I'll see you in the next one.